Hi! I look like a travel Indiana Jones or something. I don't know. But it works, right? You tell me if it didn't. Below. Welcome to the beatdown! Yay, welcome to the beatdown! Woo! Crackheads live with Willow. Get nasty with it. Who the f approved this? <laughs> Shut up! The first video is this one. It's the Willem inspired makeup. What are you doing? It's got some thumbs downs, definitely. Don't be dragging my Google hits through the mud, Mary. 2,000 views with this tutorial for doing your makeup black like mud tutorial. Oh no, my old faces. Oh, she's a beast. That's the one you wanted to use? That's on you. Wait, this is that RuPaul song, but it's not RuPaul singing it, so it took me a minute. This is the wrong light to do a tutorial in with this side light. No, you need it front on. You need it burning your fucking puss. It's all blown out on this side. This side's too dark. It looks like Frankenstein met in the middle. No, I don't like it. It looks like a mouth breather. He's just like, I don't breathe with my mouth. They call me snorkel pussy. The fuck? No, you know. It's not supposed to look like that. No, uh-uh. Get some pros aid. Get your chunky ass wrist out of the frame. I don't need to see all that. All beast wrist. Present it. Put the arm into frame. You put it in. This ain't RuPaul. It's Rip Off Paul. I don't like this. Oh, that detail! All the detail! That chunky ass brow! That brow doesn't even look like it's attempted to be covered. It looks like you just got some mashed potatoes on it and smeared it through. Mary, that no! No, I look better than that right away, so I'm taking offense right now. There are people that fuck me face up. I can't look that terrible. No! You know how I hold my eyeshadow brush? Like this. And it's usually a small blush brush. And then I just pack some blue shit on it. And then some glitter, and then a big lash. I don't do this detail bullshit. I ain't ever done a crease. No, I use my finger for that. Go like that. That one. No, no, no. Not the slow upward gaze. I see strippers do that on the way down the pole. Who are these mystery hands? You got budget, wow. I don't know why, but he looks like Annie Lennox as the F to M. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of highlight for the chin. You don't need to highlight that. Hide that. Curb stomp it. My little tip on the way to see if it's easy if you could do drag is if your cheekbones are wider than your jaw. And if it's just barely, there's a chance you could be pretty. Yours is no. This is the only way we get a RuPaul song. Now you on my show! Laugh, 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 laugh. Uh oh. No. Ugh. Brown? I ain't got no brown, brown. Bigger like you clean the toilet with it. I don't use that stuff. They test on animals again. They do. No, no, who get the baby? The baby lash. Bitch, glue some shit on your face. It's just drag. Derek! Yeah, season eight, season eight, Derek Barry. Slash little bit of young Joe Biden. What the fuck? You look like terrible. Woof, dude, your girlfriend Buzz. Look at her. Black lace with a white bra. And what's going on down there? She can hide her jeans on, just pulls real low. Boot cut looking dikey drag man. There's no top lip. It's like fucking Glenn Close ate Celine Dion's top lip. Lorenzo. I mean, thank you. I'm honored that you did this. No! You get out of here with that. This ain't a regional production of Sweet Charity. Put it in the garbage. Oh, God. Fellow model, actress, mattress, blonde, Trish, summer doll, MJ, something. She's on this video with this guy, and she seems to be really in love with him. She's got two million subscribers, too, so bitch knows what she's doing about something. Look who stole all the good Gigi hair. Welcome to my playground. Wanna play Dolly? I'll be Ken if you wanna be Barbie. I love double entendres as sexual innuendo using childhood things. It's not creepy at all. Oh, you wanna go to my playground? No, bitch, suck my dick on the swings. Or have a tea party. 
Make believe it's a jungle safari. No glass in the sandbox. Glass in the sand is not good. You don't bring breakable shit in the sandbox. Taking selfies in my sandbox, stop chuck. Ooh, yeah, that's what my daddy used to call my ass. Daddy, I mean not my father, some other dude. Keep it dirty in my sandbox. I don't like your background dancers just standing around until the dance starts. I'm giving you the giving you the giving you the big gun. Just one, one, two, play, play. This is just like big. Everybody's growing up, growing down, growing sideways. Play, play, yeah, I just want. Do you think any of these little faggot backup dancer boys are ever gonna have to come out to their family? I like that kid. He don't dance like he's a virgin. He's 12 and he's been having sex since he was 11. They told Trisha's younger self to hit it hard, cause Trisha ain't doing shit. But she's still giving 110. Trisha's like marking it and shaking her titties a little, and that little girl's like, kill it, uh, ninja, warrior, Trish. Seesaw on that wood now, Molly. What? Seesaw on that wood? No, wood needs to be finished, no splinters. Your seesaw can't be made of wood. Bye. Oh, he's talking about his dick. Tricks merry go down. I don't like that shoe with that outfit, Trish. You should have done a cuter shoe, like a white Zenodi, like sneaker wedge. That's not working, that shoe. Wanna go downtown, Donkey Kong mm, till sundown. What about Donkey Kong till sundown? PlayStation and chill? I can take you to a party in the hills of Cali. She lives in the valley, I bet. She just looks like a, she lives by, oh, go, no, keep going down Lancashire. Yeah, past the target. Welcome to my playground. You can't sit down. Sit down back there. Playground. That's the bus, Trish. That's not the playground right now. You go outside if you want to say the playground. This is welcome to my bus now. Welcome to my bu bus now. The Prince of Pop from the bottom to the top. The Prince of Pop from the bottom to the what? Versatile bottom? No, you need to brush out that crimp a little. Make it big, bitch. This is your video. And put a goddamn wind machine on it. No, bitch, you need a fan. No, my chest drum sticking out my. The fuck kind of suit is that? Did you tell the salesman? I want to look like a douchebag, but a thermometer too. Playground. Yes, for a cool out squirt set. Ain't nothing wrong with a score. Little party in the front, business in the back, and athleticism. He's like, no, Trish, you had salsa on your leg. No, baby, look how tiny that bicep is. You a 30-something year old man, and your bicep is that big? Uh-uh, you don't take your shirt off in the video. Or you do drag. Those are your two options. But you need your shirt on, man, right now, sir. I don't want to go to your playground. You should have a shirt on. Look at Trish's face. She's like, I'm gonna fall! Oh, I'm gonna fall! <laughs> This wind swept like a dog in a car. Uh. Live with your knees! Wait, that's the end? It is now. We're done, let's go. Wait, 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 oh my god, oh my god, no, I saw part of it. You didn't even warn me. This is a surprise video, oh damn. Oh, wait, 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 let me get a drink of water. I want to be in the perfect mindset. Surprise video. Oh, it's an ad. Oh. Oh! It's a commercial for the McDonald's. Oh, it's for Tide. Never mind. I thought it was you could eat it. Shut up! Oh my god. This, oh, oh, this is why I love surprise videos. They always look like my family. This is at least two aunts. Aunt Margie. Oh, hey, Aunt Margie. She looks like a palm tree. Wait, 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 wait. wait. She went to her hairstylist and was just like, I don't care. Just make it sassy. It was burnt and then finally it's growing some leaves back. Is it wrong that in my head I went, is it a she or a he? Could be a lady. Oh, that's a lady, that's bad. Ooh, God did that to you? Sorry. I have an announcement to make to y'all, to the people of America. I was at this here McDonald's on Dorset. I was just disrespected in there. To disrespect in my world is to render something useless due to bodily fluids until suitable maintenance is given. That is to disrespect, like, ooh, mama. Oh, I disrespected that bowl with those chili fries. That's disrespect. Your little french fry incident is not disrespect, madam. Almost got in a fight with the gal in there. Is this some racist bitch? Is it wrong to say someone looks racist? First of all, my first issue is the drive-through was filled all the way up and I had to walk inside. Drive-through isn't in the Bill of Rights, bitch. Calm down. You have to get out of your car sometimes. I'm sorry if you don't like it, big gulp. So then I'm, you know, I'm already mad because I got to get out my car and go inside. And you know she got a house shoe on. This just looks like a lady whose toenails, I do not want to know what they look like. Probably doesn't even keep them cute. So I go inside, I politely say, hey, 
Uh, can I have a McRib meal? Large size with the Dr. Pepper. And the lady said, well, okay, uh, that'd be six, 658. I said, ain't you forgetting something? Ma'am. Sorry, if someone said, ain't you forgetting something? Ma'am. To me, I'd say, yeah, my penis and fuck off. She looks like a beast. She looks like an ape. And she said, well, what? I said, you're supposed to offer me the extra McRib for a dollar when you buy the McRib meal. If your life is so slow that you're keeping up with the McDonald's rules more than the McDonald's employees, you got to go play Monopoly at home. You shouldn't be going out. You ain't going to believe it. She looked me up and down. Not in her Kissimmee St. Cloud Disney memorabilia. Ugh, look me up and down. Ooh, look it up and down. Look at this casual wear. Uh, I would have looked at it too. And she said, well, don't look like you need the extra McRib. Yes! Well, bitch, you want to read, you get right back. Sorry, girl. Excuse me, bitch. I'm yes! Bitch. Come on. Come on, that's the new apologize. Excuse me? I throw punch that bitch. I knocked her ass down. How are you going to get your fries now, bitch? The one thing that's certain after you beat someone at a McDonald's is you're not having McDonald's that night. So if you come to the Dorset McDonald's and you see a lady named Charlene in there, tell a Carla sent you. And then you throw punch her or punch her in the cooter. I don't give a damn. Oh, not a good cum punch. Kick. You don't want to punch her there. Kick it. This is against my civil rights. How did I know? <laughs> Bitch, I said Bill of Rights. She thinks McDonald's is a right. I could tell. And so can that elastic. Why does the shadow give her like a, like if Hawkman let himself go and also became John Belushi? That's what she looks like. That's her hair. Wow. Fuck you, McDonald's. On Dorset. Not all the other ones. I like all the other ones. At the end though, she's still trying to get that sponsorship kick. But I like all the other McDonald's, just not this one. Carla. Thank you, Carla. Papa, who let you on YouTube? This is Quaaludes with Fairly Bugger Talk About. Who was that? What are you talking about? You're talking about Quaaludes. What does Pop-Up got to say about Quaaludes? Hey, the big man's back. www.thekickfrombrooklyn.com Sounds like if John Candy did mess. He looks kind of like the guy from Family Guy. He looks like Peter Griffin. Hi, Peter. You ever seen them signs on the highway billboards years ago? I'd walk a mile for a camel. Or they used to have cigarette commercials. The guy used to say I'd walk a mile. Yeah, we know the one you just explained to pop up. I know, yeah, we know. What, what about it? The big man would walk 20 miles for a quail. Yes, yes, pop up. I knew you like drugs. I knew my weed didn't disappear that weekend. Let me tell you, <laughs> that was a drug back there in the late 70s and 80s, Quaaludes. You could tell that this man had some fun on Quaaludes. I would have been his best friend. <sighs> the good old Aurora 714, and they changed it to lemon. Yes, the lemon. I tell you, I wish I had a couple of them fucking lemons now. That was the best fucking drug ever made. Who gave Pop Pop the wine? No more wine for Pop-Pop. That's two glasses, Pop-Pop, that's it. So they were, they were putting the fucking drug dealers out of fucking business. <laughs> you know it's a party when they still think it's funny, but it's like, it's so funny I can't even tell you. I just need to I love this. Not narcotic, not addictive. Bring back the fucking Quaaludes. His wife is downstairs trying to play bridge. Sorry, he's upstairs. Yeah, we know we can hear him. He's fucking crazy. He needs some drugs to fuck you, bitch. You got anything I can fuck you on? You're a fucking Quaalu junkie and you haven't had one in 20 years. You're still an addict. You can take all the fucking cocaine, marijuana, and all them fucking designer drugs they make today. Add eggs, milk, and bread, and that's detox and shopping list. <laughs> and stick them up your fucking ass. There's nothing like a fucking Quaalu. <laughs> I tell you, they were the fucking best. Having 
sex out of Quaaludes? How did I know it? Your best memories are associated with sex. No one ever says like, this one time I was having a salad. No, it's like this one time I was fucking this girl. Ooh. You thought you died what the happened, let me tell you. And when you had an orgasm, you thought you were on a fucking moon. <laughs> Bring back that fucking Quaaludes. What, did you take one? You're like a very loud beat from New Jersey, screaming. Anyway, think about it! This is the big man, the voice! The voice of the people! <laughs> Rora 714! Dude, you look like anger from inside out. Breathe. <laughs> and the big man's always... Oh. <laughs> Michelle Visage's birth father. I really stuffed your lunch hole today, didn't I? We had the tutorial, the Megan's Lava Playground, the excuse me, I like Prelude. Bye!